What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently, different view. Uh, it's just gonna be a short one. I wanna do, uh, I'm gonna show you some of the stash ads I picked up uh, yesterday while my car was being worked on. Man, I tell you what, four Koopa Cobras, because Vice Grip Garage, he uses them. They look good. I wanted to see what they would look like on my uh, Black Ranger, and I like them. But I needed bearings in the front and an alignment and an oil change. So it'll be 1200 bucks. So that hurt. But while they were working on it, I walked off. I purposely went to this place so I can walk to Hobby Lobby while they were working on it. And I went because Ed gave everybody. All right. I changed up the view because I didn't I didn't like how that was coming so all right so yeah Ed Ed posted a video showing everybody on YouTube's that uh um Hobby Lobby had the demon in stock so uh that's why I went there so appreciate that Ed um my Hobby Lobby I th think they had two but I only grabbed the one I I don't I didn't see a purpose for having two so that's going to be a nice addition to gold dust, dusty gold dust. So I got that. All right. And then I picked, I picked up this, uh, 81 Z 28. Uh, you know, I got my 69s that I'm working on. Um, I eventually want to do every generation, um, that's available. So, you know, every time I go in there, there's always a couple of these in there. So, instead of walking past it this time, I went ahead and picked it up. I don't know when I'll build it, but I'll eventually get to it. Um, isn't it odd that none of these have plastic on them, ever? And even when uh, I was watching Ed's video from inside his Hobby Lobby, and same thing. He, uh, his, the ones at his store didn't have wrapper either. Alright, so then I went ahead and I got... The Foos 65 Chevy Impala. Is this a Super Sport model or is it just a... Oh, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I love this body style. Uh, I love the way the taillights are on this. They don't show it on the box, but it's got those long, long rectangular ones. Um, I'm assuming the only thing Foos about this kit are the wheels itself. Because when Chip Foose builds a, builds a car, I mean, he, he does body modifications and tucks in the uh, bumpers and stuff. So I'm assuming this, this is just a stock kit with uh, Foose wheels, which probably when I do build this, I won't be using those. And then I picked up the 67 Impala Super Sport. Um... I built this car a while back. I did it in that blue, that darker blue color that they, uh, that GM used to have. I think I've actually posted pictures of this one on, on one of my posts. Because, you know, again, if you go, if you pull up Joe 14 fan in the Google search, uh, you'll see um, Flickr. And you go on the Flickr and it pulls up my old um, album of of all my different builds that I was doing way back, way back when. So this one's going to be a good one. My dad had this same body style. I'm assuming that that was a one year only uh, taillights, how everything changed yearly on these cars. But we had a family car. Unfortunately, it was four doors um, with those taillights. So that'll be a nice one. Alrighty. Also picked up a couple more bottles of the, uh, uh, create text. I don't know what I'll use these on because I've got other paint coming in the mail um, But I figured out you know because that's a real nice looking color. So I got that I got a uh, Wicked pearl red So I'll use that on something and then I got their um, clear Picked up a couple of packages of these bottles so, like, when I get my um, Tamaya LP, the blacks, I can mix it all up and have it ready. Since uh, that was one of Terry's suggestions, is since you use it a lot, I can already have it pre-mixed pre and ready to go. Bought another thing of uh, 
cheating fluid since I, uh, I'm almost empty on mine. I wanted to see how these would work. Little, little sanding sticks to get into some tighter spaces. I don't know if this is the right stuff that uh, Frank uses to mount the parts onto his uh, sticks. But I saw it on the end cap at the, at the register and I grabbed it. So, And then I grabbed another pack of these because they don't last very long. The, the uh, ends start falling off of them and stuff. So. Oh, and then I bought some Dora Clear High Gloss. Uh, seen Ed using this for the uh, lenses on the um, on the dashboard gauges, and so I wanted to try that. So that's that's all with that. Now let's go and see what my entry uh, kit's going to be for the. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, let me switch over here. Right, so this is for Jason uh, over at Blue Ox for his. Um, uh, group build on the uh, street machine group build so I mean I've got plenty of things I could pick from I mean that would make a good street machine Nova would uh, I mean pretty much everything I wouldn't do that um, down here I would not do the, the Superbird as a street machine that's going to be built stock I got the uh, co the uh, Cobra fastback I can make that into a nice street machine of course the uh, charger there will make a nice street machine. Um, I've got a Pro Street, but uh, you know I don't want to use that. I got the Nova 57 Corvette that I'll probably never build. But oh, make a street machine out of a Cadillac Escalade? No. I think the choice is going to be what was suggested to me is I'm going to build the. Uh, the 67 Chevy Impala, super sport. That's going to be my street machine build. So, you know, I'm going to basically, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have no plan. Um, I know it's not going to obviously be stock. Um, the engine might be stock. Of course, I'll detail it up. I'll probably put some aftermarket wheels on there. Uh, just simple stuff that like a, uh, like maybe, you know, a kid in in high school in 1975 or 76 or something like that bought it in its first project and he starts turning it into a street machine just to have some fun with so I don't know we'll see and then depending upon how time goes I might build too maybe I'll build that one also for the channel but for the group build but as of now uh, that is my official entry for um, Jason's uh, street machine group build so, I got to get these guys. I think I already mentioned to you guys. I've got a case coming from uh, Carney. So, I didn't buy. I didn't get the divided one. I got the one that's not divided. The the shelves in it. So, uh, so like things like this, I can display all as one unit. Um, these three guys, even though they would have fit in the, in the divided sections, um, I'm going to keep them on one shelf. Then my uh, Yankos, once I finally build the Nova, the Yankos will be in uh, on on one shelf. Because they hold three across, seven down, three across. So, looking forward to when that gets here. And I'll post a video on that once it does. So, um... So that's going to be it, guys. Keep it a short one, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, liking, um, helping me. You guys are awesome, man. So, uh, yeah, catch you on the next one.